Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. So, I was thinking maybe meet you guys back at Bose, but since we have a new party member, uh, why don't we go ahead and get into battle with him with this guy. He has a fire element, so he should actually work fairly well. Um, let's see. So you attack this one. I mean, I kind of want to see his attack, so you attack this one. He's slower than everyone. I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, no, not really. Uh, what do you have for a craft? You get Quick Draw. Uh, it's an area effect. Fires off several rounds in the blink of an eye. Howling Bullet. Uh, it's an area effect. Fires off an explosive energy round. Uh, you have just standard arts. How's your range looking? Can I attack you from here? I had to walk two steps. Interesting. Alright, uh, you... Can I guard? No, I guess not. Yeah, we can just kill this guy. Can you move faster? Nah, you can move after her anyways. Alright, well... He has a gun. He has quite a bit of range. He's level 13, which is kind of a shame. And that means he's, like, higher level than... Estelle and Joshua. You know, thinking back about it, I probably should have, like... Killed those shiny uh, palms or whatever the hell it's called to get up to not get up but like I don't know freaking get enough septum to unlock all of Joshua's and freaking Estelle's gates or slots not gates this isn't Naruto um, because the more party members we get the longer it's gonna take I like the shining sound that happens when he, he moves his hair like that. But yeah, because, like, Estelle, she needs, what, 100 or 80? And Joshua needs, like, 120, I think, maybe. And then there's Shara, who I think needs one more unlocked as well. And then Oliver, who has one that needs to be unlocked too. Hmm. So yeah, it's a... Uh, I don't know. Hmm, so this is Bose, is it? It's more urban than I'd imagine. But that building over there is Bose Market, no? Well, you seem to be quite knowledgeable. Are you sure this is really your first time in Liberal? Ha! <laughs> I was smart enough to buy a tourist guidebook before I left. One published by your very own Liberal News, no less. I gotta check the market for that. A guidebook? Do they really sell such a thing? I don't know how to say it, but... We live in a really convenient age. So do you intend to go shopping at the Bose Market now? Yep. And after doing a bit of window shopping, I plan to dress up and dine out. According to this guy, there's supposed to be a three-star restaurant in town. Right. The place where we ate at, uh, with the mayor, uh... What I mean to say is, I guess this is the place? The Enro's, uh, authentic liberal cuisine, or so they say. Indeed, there's no doubt this is the place. I'm quite looking forward to it. But it's supposed to cost a pretty mirror if you decide to go with a full course meal. I'd have to recommend a normal bar any day over this. Worry not, my fair lady, I've brought a sufficient travel expenses. And if that's not enough, I'll earn more with my superb skills and looks. Superb skills? You're not talking about your songs and musical, uh, renditions, are you? Can you actually earn mirror with that crap? I've starred in, uh, as the main Opa opera singer, Opa, opera singer at the Great Theatre in the Ebonian capital before. If I remember right, I once earned one million mera in a single night. Big fat liar. Alright everyone, good work. I guess this is a farewell until fate brings us together once more. Adios amigos. Now well, you were in our party for a hot second. What horror have we unleashed upon this poor innocent village? Is everyone from Ebonia a waiter like that? I don't think I like the idea of that being the Empire stereotype. <laughs> huh? What I'm just trying to say is that I think the majority of people there are quite serious. I read a in a book that their ethos respects the strong silent type. Hmm. So what you're saying is that he's simply a waiter because he's an artist. Now, just hold up there, Estelle. If the artists of this world heard that, they'd be less than pleased. Let's see. We need to report the information we got to the general... of the general to Lugrin. 
And it would be best if we let Mayor Maybell know after that, too. So after we visit the guild and then the mayor's residence... Oh, I totally misread that, so we need to visit the guild and the mayor's residence. Okay, let's get going. I actually was gonna, like, totally buy that guy some ore. She has two sealed! Joshua has two sealed! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's gonna cost a lot. She's almost done, which is great. She's not, which is not good. He's not, which is also not good. Um. All right, to the guild. This is a chapel, Coronas. I know. I totally meant to do that. The guild's over here. Should probably buy those books, huh? Report? Nothing to report. Right, we need to talk to you first, don't we? Hi. Oh, it's you kids. So, did you find out anything about the incident? Teehee, you bet. Valuable information at that. The Sky Pen uh, Bandits and the Chupa family. Ah, uh, you're right. That is valuable information. It looks like we'll be able to decide on a policy for the Bracer Guild related to this. However, I'm surprised to hear that General Morgan is even a uh, big, uh, even is an even bigger Bracer hater than I had originally thought. I don't know why that phrase was so hard to get in my mouth. Yeah, I was really surprised myself. In Roland, the job of a Bracer is pretty much respected by everyone, so to encounter someone that hates Bracers that much... Don't worry about it. General Morgan is an exception. Under normal circumstances, the Royal Army and the Paid and the Guild maintain a pretty good cooperative relationship. However, it looks like this time you're going to have to deal with a lot more than you're bonding for. Well, then I guess we'll have to try and make steady efforts while maintaining a low profile. It looks like these recent burglaries are also the work of the Sky Bandits, right? Yes, taking into account the incident and roll it, it's pretty clear who's behind this. To call them burglaries is one thing, uh, though, because of mo because most of the stuff they've been stolen hasn't been all that valuable. I would have never thought they would have go as far as to commit a heinous crime like hijacking the Lind. Then you mention it, that is rather odd. The burglary was that happened in Roland was also rather mild in comparison. I mean, they did steal a queen's gift. That that kind of does qualify them for the guillotine. Yeah, and hijacking the airliner and then to turn around and demand a ransom from the royal family? The risks are greater than any potential reward. In light of that, we should probably do a little more on the investigative side of ourselves. Yeah, but like... Do you have any other jobs? You do! Beer Claw Survey. S Spence. Where are you, Spence? You're in the market. Alright. Nebul Valley Monster. Master Cryon? Has been started over the Nebul Valley. Races from the Sabrancia, okay. West Bose Monster. Medium. First monster known as Thunderquake. <laughs> ah, I like Thunder Lips better, to be quite honest. Okay, so we get two special monsters to go after. We need to talk to someone in the Bose Market. We might as well do you. No? Girl, you look so unique, though! That's... that's sad. Um, this one? What are we looking at? It's... Wait, did we already get Beer Claw? Spencer Farmery within the Bose Market. If I was a farmery, where would I be? Where's all the drugs? Are you... are you the drugs? You are the drugs. Can I help you with something? My medicine works wonders. Um, came here after seeing something posted on the bulletin board of the Bra at the Braces Guild. Can you by any chance be Spence? Oh, you're Braces, are you? I've been waiting for you to come. Guess we can dispense with the formalities, then. I understand you're trying to find places where the Bear Claw grows, correct? Yes, the Bear Claw, claw is a medical or medicinal herb that's difficult to find in these parts. Up until now, I've been having them shipped from Roland, but just recently I was asked by Father Holston to prepare a new medicine. So it seems like I'm going to be using more than uh, more of these than before. That's why I've decided to find my own source. Hmm, the Bear Claw, huh? If I remember right, it grows in the forest of Mistwald in Roland. The Bear Claw is said to grow well in humid locations. I'm pretty sure it probably grows in a place like that in Bose. Man, I guess all we can do is hit the road and start conducting a thorough search. Such investigations are an important part of a brace's job. Just think of it as a good opportunity to learn. I guess there's no other options, huh? 
All right, if we come across any beer claw flowers, we'll come and let you know. Okay, I'm counting on you kids. Be careful out there. No. Do you sell those books, though? I don't want to talk to you. No, you sell medicine. That makes sense. You're a farmer. You sell the books. I mean, I could talk to you too, Felicia. If that is your real name. Are you, you sell the weapons. The, sh the, the crappy weapons. Hashtag shitty weapons. Where's, where's the magazine, people? You're not the magazine, people. Your name's Libro? God. You should really, like, yell at your parents for that. So we already have one of these. Why don't we buy this? Yes. And buy this. Sure. There goes 2,000 money. Cornus, weren't you gonna wait until the road's... Oh, fuck. You're right. <laughs> I was gonna wait. Oh, well. That's fine. Uh, ten pages. Good lord. Um... So just feel free to pause and read through it yourselves. What is this? Is this actually just a book? It's like a, a fucking, like a biography? I'm gonna assume yes. A fictional novel, god damn it. I hate novels. And I kind of went past chapter or page eight, fast. Yeah. Uh, damn novels in there. Who sells a novel per chapter? And for a thousand mira. Like I don't know if that's actually any good, but good lord. Huh. Reverberating. Hmm. You don't, you, don't, you don't hear that much, that word used that much in the real life, do you? Oh yeah. How's it going, Oliver? Uh, no, no, nothing. Okay, cool. Um, Mayor. Okay, Mayor, you're over here, right? No, that's the chapel again, Kronos. Look. Th this area confuses me. That's the bar. This is the mayor's. That's the hotel, Kronos. Uh, it's, it says hotel right there. Oh, no. Come on, Missy, I'm begging you. Please let us in. If I could get just get a comment from the mayor, I'd be, uh, be on my merry little way. Yep, that's right. And of course, I need a photograph, too. I'm sure the mayor would be flattered, but she's extremely busy. I'm going to have to ask you all without, uh, I'm going to have to ask you all, the, all those without an appointment to leave. Hope you can understand the situation. Come on, please! For the incident this huge, we hardly know anything about the circumstances surrounding it, and I have an obligation to inform the readers. But, yeah, what about the readers? We could probably reach a du uh, reach double the numbers if we have the mayor's grace on the, uh, have the mayor grace the covers. She's said to be very beautiful, after all. Dots. Dorothy, why why do you have to go and say something like that? Huh? But it was you who was saying the same thing. One, remember? You said if we didn't have any news to go on, we could lure customers to buy the magazine by featuring the sexy mayor on the cover. You, you idiot! Dots? Uh, um, this... Well, aren't you two a couple of interesting visitors? I'll make sure to tell Mayor Maybell about the details of our conversation. At the moment, however, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Wait, wait, this is a misunderstanding. Please leave. Fine. So are we gonna be okay not getting a photograph of the mayor then? Please, for the love of Eidos and your sin and sanity, just keep your mouth shut. Niall, wait for me! Phew. Huh? Did we not say hi to them? Good afternoon, Lila. Oh, it's you braces again. Did you just return from the Hawking Gate? Uh, yeah, something like that. So, uh, those two you just turned away. A bunch of unscrupulous individuals. R really Those miscreants said they planned to use the mayor to make some quick mirror. And, but as long as I'm here to protect my mistress, I won't allow that to happen. Ha <laughs> ha I see. You're really serious about your job, aren't you? Deadly serious. That's because it's my duty. Anyway, why don't you all come inside? The mayor is waiting for you. Should we go say hi to them? Are they here? That... 
that messed me up a little bit. Hey, Dorothy, Niall, where you at, dogs? You're not here? That's sad. I wanted to say hi. In we go. Did we check back here? Yeah, we did. I was, I was about to say, wait a minute, who the fuck are you? You're the butler. Did they, did they tell us where they are? Are they upstairs? To downstairs? Oh, Lila. General Morgan has become, has come here to visit on several occasions. He's a little difficult to describe, but what can I say is, uh, what I can say is that he is a respectable man. There's no doubt in my mind about that. But in both a good and bad sense, he has the temperament of a military man. Alright, sad to hear. He was kind of a dick. Not there. Alright, next and last. Dealing with complaints from the citizens. Late deliveries of goods to the Bose market because of the air, uh, airspace being a no-fly zone. Serving the, uh, servicing the sewer facilities. Selecting a congratulatory gift for our Majesty the Queen. Harm incurred by monsters on the new Anzil path. When will all this paperwork finally end? Um. Uh, hello? Oh, are you back already? You look pretty busy, so would it be better if we came back at a later time? <laughs> uh, no, we're fine. So you found out something from General Morgan, right? I'd like to hear about it. Her face looks really familiar. Not like in the animes, faces have like the same face pretty much, but like the character when she's smiling, the shifty eyes, looks really, really familiar for some reason. Good work. I feel like I have a much clearer picture of the situation now. First, there was a hijacking by the Sky Bandits and now a ransom demand. The situation is much more serious than I had originally anticipated. If the General hadn't found out we were braces, I think we could have learned more, but... No, it's all right. I'm just glad to know that it wasn't a crash. With the with this this portrait right here, she looks really, really familiar for some reason. With this information, I should be able to take effective countermeasures with the city. Now I need to think of a way to inform the citizens of Bose and deal with the families of the passengers. I imagine it'll be quite a difficult task considering that you are already as busy as you are. <laughs> well, that's just the duty of the mayor. That one too. And since the identity of the criminals are now known. May I ask that you continue your investigation of the incident? Of course, that's what was our plan to begin with. We've already had a run-in with these Sky uh, Bandits before, and I'll wager the honor of the guild that this is the one group. This is one group we cannot simply leave up to the Royal Army. Yeah, that's for sure. There's Dad to find, and then we need to deal with those Sky Bandits once and for all. Dots. Huh? What's with that look, Joshua? I was just thinking, and no matter which way I look at it, I just can't believe it. What can't you believe? That Dad could be beaten by a bunch of Sky Bandits. Basing my judgment on the ability of the group that appeared in Roland. I'm in agreement with you there. Cassius could have easily dealt with a group of, a gr group of that caliber. Oh, come on, Joshua. You too, Shara. You're giving him way too more credit than he deserves. He's pretty good, I'll give you that, but I think it would be a bit of a stretch to take on an entire group. Dots? Um, do you mind if I ask you something? Are you trying to tell me that your father was aboard that airliner? Oh, I didn't mention that? I'm embarrassed to say it, but yeah, he was. Not to mention, he's a bracer, too. His name is Cassius Br Bright. Did you say Cassius Bright? Uh, yeah, why? Do you know my dad or something? I never met him in person, but I've heard a great deal about him. I'm sorry, I just don't know what to say. But we might be able to use this to get, uh, to get some information from the army. Excuse me, Mayor. I'm very sorry, but... And I can emphasize with what you must be going through. If there's anything I can do to help you clear up this incident, then I'm at your disposal. If there's anything you need, just please don't hesitate to ask. Uh... Hmm, I wonder what's with the mayor. I'm assuming... Cassius is fame and power has transcended the Roland region, then? As soon as we mentioned Dad's name, she got all surprised. You're right, but I guess I can imagine where she's coming from. The mayor and the general have known one another for a long time, after all. Well, let's not worry about that right now. The real question is, where do we go from here? Oh, did Cassius and Morgan have something to do with each other? Is that what Joshua meant by that? Maybe. 
Just searching around blindly for the airliner or sky bandits probably won't amount to anything, right? I mean, if that's all it takes, then the army would have found them a long time ago. Yeah, that was pretty smart. You two are not wrong. Huh? What's the matter with you two? Estelle, you've matured. If I hadn't, if it hadn't been the same you, if it had been the same you as before, you probably would have said something like, "Let's just comb the entire region." I never thought I'd see the day when those when those words would come out of my mouth, about uh, uh, come out of your mouth either. My heart's too full of emotions for words. So what are you two trying to say? You can be rude sometimes. I hope you know. Uh, we were complimenting you, Estelle, by calling you a complete and utter fool. Unfortunately, unlike Roland, the Bosa region is enormous. I'm really hoping for a clue right about now. A clue, huh? Oh right, wasn't that Niall and Dorothy we saw in front of the mayor's place earlier? He seemed pretty starved for a story, but he's gotta know something by now, right? It's true he's arrived in Bosa a little before he re a little before we did. So I think he may be worth it, it may be worth talking to him. I wonder where they went. Well they weren't in the market when I checked. These little two kids are creeping me out for some reason. Some old man, will you stop walking to Joshua's ass? We already have one person after it. Actually, technically we have like three, right? We got the we got the cat lady back in uh, rolling. And then we have uh Shara when she's drunk, and then Oliver. So, Joshua, you gotta, like... Oh, and you know what? Estelle's friend. She, uh, she mentioned how, uh, hot-tastic Joshua was. What are these houses? I've been in these before, haven't I? Wait, have I? Do you have any chests I can steal? What is this? Do you have an exit on your top floor? You do. Oh, that's weird. I mean, I guess it's just a back entrance. But I wouldn't want to use it. Huh. No, sir, I don't like it. What's in here? He has a full of entrances. I, I don't think I meant to go that way. Actually, you know what? Let's check the marketplace one more time. Oh, we should stop by the Orbital place as well. There's Oliver. We already talked to you. We were in here earlier looking for them, but they weren't here. Because I was like, where could they go? And they're not here. That is a shame. So they're probably down below. I mean, they could go to the landing port, maybe? But the airlines are, like, closed, right? Is this the Orbital place? That's the Orbital place. Let's go ahead, and I wanted to actually, like, not do this. Nigel, if you don't mind, thank you. People don't come in here to talk to you, Nigel. They come in here to open their slots. Whatever that means. Joshua, do you need any 50? No, god lord. Hoy, um, I really should actually finish these two off and then focus on Shara. If Oliver joins us, we're gonna... Well, he's not gonna need any openings, right? Because he's already pretty, like, open in more ways than one. Uh, but also, like, he has only one slot that's locked. So, are, are we not supposed to find them physically, but instead find them, like, by talking to everyone? I didn't want to go that way. Wait, is the monster down here? No, it's West Boze. Where's Nebel Path, or Nebel Valley? Not there. I mean, we could go kill the, the one of the monsters. We can try the landing port, too. Or they could be in, like, the hotel. You're right. Hotel makes sense, Kronos. They're not here, are they? You're lying to me. God damn it, Kronos, you lied to me. God damn it, Kronos. Where does this go? Huh. Landing port? Maybe this door? No. Hey, talk. I was actually kind of hoping you would tell me where they went. Hey, that's another room. Jesus Christ. How many rooms does this hotel need? Oh, bar! That guy does look like an alcoholic, right? Really? Really? Restaurant? 
guy looks looks like a scientist. Maybe restaurant. Oh, they wouldn't be in the restaurant. They're poor as shit, aren't they? Maybe? I don't know. We'll find them next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you get to my videos, I can check out some of the content and see if it's what you're liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day.